the only thing that I can think of that is probably better, and that's just because financially, like the people that I knew that were doing background work in commercials, a lot of them were making like six figures a year. I mean, that seems to be, you know, if you're doing that kind of work, that's about the creme to the creme, financially speaking, but yours offers all these other perks. How would one, let's say one is just a regular extra on a show. I mean, are there ranks you have to work up to kind of prove yourself? You know, it had started a long time before I was working. Uh, I was dancing in the opening ceremonies of the 1984 Summer Olympics. And it was uh, choreographed by a man uh, named Ron Field, who had uh, choreographed a lot of Broadway shows like Cabaret and uh, Applause and everything. So he was choreographing the opening ceremonies of the 84 Olympics. And one of his assistants was a really wonderful man named Art Arianos. And the two of them were going over to work on the uh, primetime Emmys. They were, uh, they were doing um, an opening bit with the uh, actresses. They wanted a tuxedo gentleman uh, standing next to them. And all of a sudden uh, they liked me and, chose me to stay for the show. And next thing I know, I was working the show as the escort, making sure everyone got to the stage safely. So I was standing in eventually, and then uh, I was uh, escorting. So of all these famous women, beautiful women, talented women, uh, extraordinary women, uh, did you ever get kissed by any of the celebrities that you escorted onto the stage over the years? Don't call me Corey Baker, call me Marco Potch, cause I'm not Julia's son, not anymore. Don't call me Corey Baker, call me Marco Potch, cause I'm not Julia's son like I was.